The question is, why do so many Christian men abandon their God-given priorities? Why do they abandon those things? It's a question of fear. And let me tell you this. It takes one to see one. For the biggest part of my life, I was such a man. We fear the world, the consequences of the world, the consequences to ourselves more than what we fear God. We do. If we proclaim to be Christian men, the question is this. What is your priority in your headship appointed by God? What is your priority as a father in that house? It's the three P's, isn't it? To protect. To provide. And to be the priest. The spiritual condition of your wife and the spiritual condition of your children is your responsibility. Your responsibility. Your privilege and your privilege as a man of God. That is the utmost priority. I speak to many men and I engage in many conversations for I'm not selective. I have to give everybody the benefit of the doubt including myself because we cannot see people's hearts. But you know all these conversations just end up in the same old thing. It ends up in the same old superficial boring fluff and it ends up the pride of man the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes it all ends there all the wars throughout the world and throughout history can be taken back to one of those three Men fear the world more than what they fear God. And that is the dividing line. And all I hear is excuses. It, that's all it is. Everybody wants to justify why they are not pursuing their God-given command. But if you narrow down all the excuses, remove all the layers, it comes down to selfishness. As I said in the beginning, it takes one to see one. The majority of my life, I did this. So I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. And I'm speaking to all generations Young men, middle-aged men, elder men. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Some just hides it better than others. Now I have not shared my testimony. The only time I will draw from that past... Is to put it on a table with another man. So that he would engage in conversation with his heart. And he knows that I can afford him empathy because I was there too. 
Now once we've spoken about our hardships and our lives and what happened, whatever it is, we can speak about that and we can cry about that. But once we've finished all that, the thing's still on the table. Why do we not pick up our swords? We we'll ask you, what is the most important thing for your children? What is the most important thing? Because if it's important, that is what your priority would be. And not just a matter of words, but in what you do will align with that priority. Your wife is a resulting condition of you. And you might say, hey, you don't know my wife. I don't need to know your wife. I don't need to know your wife. It is up to you. In your own strength. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. We will fail. Whenever the guidings of our Lord becomes too hard for me, it is a marker, a flag in my life to look and see that there's too much of me in it, too much of what I'm trying to do by my own strength, yet again to newly surrender to Him. Men are faced with more temptation than ever before. But as we read through scripture, men are most detested by sexual temptation. You cannot confirm your headship as a Christian man because your family prays over their food or you visit a church those are not the priorities those things need to flow naturally you are to disciple your wife and children if you don't the world will to enable you then to do this you need to understand you have to get rid of those things that are ripping you to shreds inside because the Lord promised you that if you seek him you will find him if you fear him We don't fear him because we don't know him. We need to draw closer to God, his word, ourselves. We cannot be Christians through other people. You have to know him yourself. If there's sacrifice that it has to be made, because I don't know who you are, I don't know your conditions and your circumstances. But I can tell you this. If anything you do is withholding you from serving God faithfully as a husband and a father, it does not belong in your life. You need to trust God and let go. Because it's not going to last. It's not going to last. Everything you see that you can smell and hear and see is but a breath. Many men set their alarm clocks this morning to wake up and they didn't. Thinking that there will be another opportunity. I'll take my family to church. I'll do this. No. It is now. It is now. You want to be a warrior? 
Do you want to be a lion? You turn your back on this world and towards God. You cannot have both feet planted. You cannot have both. You find the kingdom when you seek for it. And He will add everything else you need for you and your family. The question is, do you believe Him? Do you really? Amen.